Hey, what's up, guys? It is Mr. J Man, and um, I'm playing some SSX Tricky, and um, this game is just awesome. This is a live commentary, and um, so we're gonna be racing on. Uh, I'm not quite sure what map yet, and I'm not quite sure what character. Um, man, I used to play this game so much when I was younger. Um, I think my favorite was Simon. He he was awesome. Let's just go ahead and play as him. He's really really cool. He's got tattoos of chains on him. That must make him really, really cool. And this game, this game came out in like what, 2001, I believe. Yeah, it was like 01. I'll just keep that board. I don't really care. Uh, continue. And um, but yeah, this game was awesome. I mean, oh god, I think it came out in 2001, I believe. Amateur, semi-pro, pro. I think I'm gonna go with semi-pro. I haven't played this in. Oh, such a long time. I think I'm gonna go for Let's just go for Garibaldi. Garibaldi, my bad. Garibaldi. I don't know. But um yeah, anyways, this is my favorite snowboarding game of all time. Um oh, this is just such an awesome game. And a lot of you I've heard that a lot of people think SSX three is the greatest SSX game, and guys, I'm telling you, uh <laughs> At least to me, SSX3 can't even compare to SSX Tricky. SSX Tricky has this kind of like totally like un um, uh, like unrealisticness to it that like no other game that I've seen can compare. With. And it's just like not necessarily no other game, but the other SSX Tricky games like can't even compare to it. So it's just I don't know. It's just awesome. And um, I hear they're making actually a new SSX game. It's going to be called, um, uh, what's it called? It's like Downhill something or other. And it's like Extreme Adventures. Pretty much looks like a SSX Call of Duty. It's pretty much what it looks like. Look at the trailer. I think it's on Machinima Sports. Check that out. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. To be honest, when it comes to that kind of stuff with like, sequels and such, I mean, um, like, well, not necessarily sequels, but I mean, like, se like sequels or to, like, older games that they just remade into the new console, I mean, generally, I think EA Big that made this, it was called EA Big, they made the, all the street games, I don't believe that they're actually around anymore, because I don't see any games by them anymore, and I think the last game they made was, like, SSX something or other for the PSP, and it was... Or, no, SSX something for the Wii, and it was like a 07 or something. That's the last time I've ever seen the EA big kind of thing. So I think those people are gone, and I didn't see it in the trailer or anything. So I think they're gone. I think it's still being created by EA, but um, I'm not quite sure what to expect. But it really does look like Call of Duty for the uh, uh, just snowboarding. I mean, check out the trailer. It's just crazy. Um... But other than that, guys, uh, SSX Tricky or 3, I mean, I played 3, it was alright, but this game, just nothing can compare to this game. I mean, it was just amazing, amazing, amazing. It, uh, such a great game. Sorry if you can hear the controller button smashing in the uh, background. I'm playing, obviously, as I speak, and um, uh, it's just... Yeah, it's kind of hard because I got my old PlayStation 2 controller. Damn it. Oh, I'm in last. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God. <laughs> Didn't help myself out there. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know, I haven't played this game in forever, so, uh, yeah. Sorry if this commentary isn't interesting. Um, it's kind of hard to do it in a live commentary to make a commentary interesting because, um, I mean, you're trying to play the game and, uh, talk about something interesting at the same time it doesn't really work so um but yeah hopefully my live commentaries are good enough for you i have a series or not necessarily a series it just has two episodes right now uh and it's called live commentaries with mr j man and this isn't going to be a part of that um mainly because actually there's no real reason i just don't want it to be one of those because um i think this would get more views if it didn't have the little live commentaries with Mr. J-Man on it. Because people are going to think, like, um, uh, Mr. J-Man live commentaries is probably not good. 
But like, if you have the game title, then people might be more enticed to uh, check it out. So, who knows? That's just my little theory. There's a lot of little things to YouTube that I've figured out, and um, how people react to certain things and such, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll have to explain that in another video because we just hit the races end and uh, I got fourth place. Uh, so close to being in third. Oh, she's a nice rack. Oh, look at that. 3D. 3D boot. Oh, God. Crash talking song. Don't mess with him. He has a chain tattoo. He's really cool. But anyway, um, uh, thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys um, in, a, in the near future in another video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.